Hello everyone! This video uh, will all be uh, about uh, me mixing the paints for uh, the flowers I'm making lately. And I'm going to show you the, in, uh, the supplies I uh, use for making the pouring medium, but also uh, uh, how I uh, mix the paints, but also how I mix the pearl paints. So what you need is a primer, and it's a primer that you use on your concrete walls to uh, prevent that the wall will suck up your paint, your wall paint. So before you uh, paint your wall, you can, uh, you can apply uh, a primer on your wall, and this is the primer I'm using. It's a Dutch brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't buy it in uh, outside of Europe. But um, what I know, and I also will add uh, the search, Google search words in the description below this video, is that it is a synthetic um, resin dispersion for acrylic. It's water-based. I will read what's on the primer. Um, it's a priming agent ready to use. It's very thin and it contains, let me see, benzesotisol. I don't know how to pronounce that in English, but um, it's a synthetic uh, resin dispersion. And that's the binding in this, that ingredient is the binding in this primer. So it's very thin and it's just like water. And um, what I'm also using for the pouring medium is an acrylic binder. And I'm using this one. And um, what it's called is the same as the primer. It's a synthetic resin dispersion. I can read what's on the bucket because there is uh, something in English. High quality synthetic resin dispersion binder. Thick consistency, can be thinned with water, causes hardly any smell. Um, and what you also can do with this binder is make your own acrylic paints. And you can also use it as a glue to make color collages. And what you can also do is add it to your acrylic paints and uh, make glazes. So if you add the binder to your uh, acrylic paints, then um, yeah, it will get more transparent. So this. These two are the ingredients to make the pouring medium. In a minute I will show you how I do that. What you also need is um, the Vallejo iridescent pearl medium. Because I think the combination of these three supplies creates the beautiful lacing. And this is how it looks. This is the bottle. Vallejo pearl medium. I will also show you uh, how I mix the pearl paints, but it sparkles a lot. So these are the ingredients and of course I'm using uh, paints and mainly I'm using the Windsor and Newton paints, but I also use Amsterdam acrylics because I know, yeah, this works and Arteza, Arteza paints I'm using. So I will change the angle of my uh, camera to uh, get a closer look because then you can see uh, how I uh, mix the pouring medium and the paints much better. So I will uh, change it and I will see you back later. So first I'm going to show you how I mix the pouring medium and what I already mentioned, I'm using two supplies, the acrylic binder and the primer. 
And uh, what I do is I weigh everything. So, and I make large batches so that I can mix uh, more than one color. And uh, what I do is place the bucket onto my scale. And now I can also show you the consistency of the acrylic binder. It's uh, thick, so you can see. I hope you can see it. And I will add 500 gram to my bucket. Yeah, it's not much to tell about how you add the acrylic binder. So what I mentioned, this is a synthetic resin dispersion. And um, yeah, you can use it um, to make acrylic paints if you have mica pigments. Then you can add it to it, and then you can make your own uh, colors. I, uh, I have done that, and it works. But you can also use it to uh, as a glue to uh, I'm almost there. 50 gram and then I'm at 500 grams. So I have 500 gram of acrylic binder. Need to put this away. And now I'm going to add the primer. I have it uh, in a measuring cup, but it's the same as the bucket I showed you. And what I do is I add 20% of uh, the primer into my acrylic binder. So I have 500 gram. So that means I need to add 100 gram of the primer. And then I mix that all together. So I need to add 100. And then I'm going to mix it. So the primer will make the acrylic binder thinner. And you need to mix those two very well together. I don't need my scale for the moment. And it mixes very well. Very easy. And I will show you the consistency in a minute. But no water, still no water. Because if you add too much water, then it can break down your binders that are in the paints. And then uh, the colors will fade. I don't like that. I like vibrant colors. So I add almost no water. And the consistency is like this. I hope you can see it. So it looks thin. But if you add the paint, it will get a little bit thicker. 
So now I'm going to mix a color. First I need to clean my scale because also that I'm going to weigh. So again for the pouring medium, I add 500 gram of acrylic binder and 20% of the, of the 500 gram I add to the, uh, to the binder and that's 100 gram of primer. And then I mix it together and then I have my pouring medium. So how do I mix the paints? I'm going to mix an ultramarine color. I'm also using squeeze bottles. And on the squeeze bottle I uh, write down what I've added in the squeeze bottle. So what I'm doing, again I'm going to weigh it. I'm going to add 20 gram of paint. So 20 gram. Then I'm going to add uh, four parts pouring medium. So that means I need to add 80 gram of pouring medium. So that I get a total of 100. I have 100 and then I'm going to mix all that together And you need to mix it very well. And what's also nice about this acrylic binder and primer is that it dries clear. So the colors will be much more beautiful if the painting is dry. So now that it's mixed, the consistency is like this. One stream. Yeah, in my opinion it looks like uh, warm honey. And what I do then, take my squeeze bottle And I add it to the squeeze bottle. Can you see it? Yep. Yeah. Like this. But there's a, a lot of paint still in the cup. And what I do then. is I'm adding a little bit of water in a cup because I want to get out all of the paint. There you can see it. And then I mix it and that's the only water that I'm using. And also that I'm going to add to the squeeze bottle. And everything that's in the cup I'm going to add 
because I don't want to waste any paint or acrylic or my pouring medium. So everything is out of my cup. So that one is done. So the only water I'm adding is a little bit uh, to get the paint out of my uh, paper cup and further no more uh, water. And then I'm going to shake it. And then it, it's done. Then you have your color. So now uh, onto the uh, pearl colors, in which I'm using the pearl medium. It's mixed a little bit different, but I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an Arteza color, and this one is the yellow ochre. I hope I pronounce it okay. And I'm going to use this one. So 20 gram of paint, just as the other, just as ultramarine color I just did. 20 gram of paint. I'm sorry. So I have 20 gram of paint, then I'm going to add 20 gram of the pearl medium, so one part paint, one part pearl medium. And two parts of the pouring medium. And if it's a little bit more, then that's no problem. And then again, I'm going to mix. Oh those two together and then the consistency again is like this. I hope you can see it. And then I will add it to the squeeze bottle and I do the same as I did with the ultramarine color. And again, I'm going to add a little bit of water. And mix that together. I 
and that's the only water I'm using. Add it to the squeeze bottle. Also, what's still in the cup, I want to add. Don't want to throw it away. And then again, I'm going to shake it because the the last bit of paint I put on top of it is thinner. So I need to mix what's in the bottle. And then it's again, it's done. You have your pearl yellow ochre. So again, it's very important that you have a, a primer and a binder with the same ingredients in this case synthetic resin dispersion i will add it to the uh, in the description box below this video um, 500 gram of acrylic binder and 100 gram of primer that's the pouring medium to mix the paints one part paint four parts pouring medium that's for the normal colors and for the pearl colors one part paint one part phaleo pearl medium and two parts pouring medium and uh, I only use a little bit of water and then the colors are, uh, the paints are mixed and that's how I uh, do it. I hope, yeah, I will put all the links to the, the supplies in the description box so you can check that out. Also comparable uh, links, uh, supplies and uh, I, I uh, uh, look for the same ingredients and they look the same so I, I didn't test them because I can't buy them here in the Netherlands but I hope uh, I have inspired you all and uh, that it is a little bit clearer how I mix my paints and um, if you have quest questions then please uh, leave a comment below this video and I will see you all in the next video bye